Peace, y'all. What's going on? It's your girl, Crystal D. York, coming your way. So, I am going to try vegan versus fries for the first time. I just ordered DoorDash, okay? I'm excited. So, I'm going to show you guys how it looks. All right. So, we're going to see how it really turned out to be because the pictures be looking great. So, let's see. Ooh. All right, peace y'all so i ordered from vegan versus fries you probably see them on instagram i wanted to try it i had doordash credit so i said why not so i got the top two meals i got the cali crunch and the asada fries oh look at that so this is the asada fries And the Kylie Crunch. All right, so I'll have to split this open. I'm gonna let you guys see what it look like. Okay. Peace, looking like guys. What's going on? It's your girl Crystal B. Or coming your way. So I finally got the vegan versus fries. And this is the Asada fries I'm gonna be trying. And then I got the Kali Crunch. Now you can only order it through like certain apps. So I had ordered it off of DoorDash. And this is my review, okay? So let's do this. Okay, so this is something that you, you should eat definitely with a fork. But it's really good. It's basically like loaded fries. And if you're into like the impossible meat, they have that option or they have like a fajita mix. I got the fajita mix, so. And I got that with both of my items. The fajita mix on the Kali wrap as well as the fries. So I'm not gonna get messy on camera with this, honey. Cause I can see where it might go. But this is really a must try. The fries is good. And I just wanted to order both okay so i was gonna say peace but i was eating it for a while and i was like i want to give it a critique so these loaded fries right these are really really good i put a little dent in it but i would say maybe they could make the peppers um a little li smaller with like this is a, a bell pepper right so this is for the fajita mix why my bell pepper this big and then my fry is this big. You know what I'm saying? It's bigger than the fry. So maybe they could chop up the bell peppers a little bit in the fajita mix or try to make it a little bit more skinnier if they're gonna do it like that. But I just feel as though this is rather large to keep ingesting when I'm trying to enjoy my loaded fries. But it's good, it's tasty. But maybe you guys should chop up the peppers a little bit smaller, but I love it. Let's go on to the crunch. <laughs> because I already knew that I wasn't going to probably use DoorDash again in a minute. So this is the Kali Crunch. And I split it in half so you can see the inside. Alright, so let's try it. Now, of course, I'm not going to eat all this food right now, y'all. Okay. It is a lot of food, but I wanted to try both of them. I couldn't decide. Ugh. All right, so this is the Kali Crunch. <laughs> I'm silly. All right. It's good. <laughs> I also got a side of the Alabama sauce. And this was like an extra $2. This is really good. I like this too. It's hard. I'm happy I got both because I got to try both of them. 
they both are really good. I can't tell you which one tastes better than the other. They end up on me. This is a must try, guys. This is a must try. They both are must try. It depends if you're into fries or if you want a meal. I feel like this is a healthy meal. This will get you right. But the fries will also. So it's like a loaded fry. So that's definitely good if you don't make it yourself. So ultimately it depends on what you're into. But I can see why these are the top two. Both are a must try. Y'all could thank me later. Okay, vegan versus fries. But I'm happy I got a chance to try it. So I'm about to tear this up off. So this is the Kylie Crunch. And I told you I got a side of the Alabama sauce for an extra $2. It's real tangy. Ooh, it's a real tangy, tarty sauce. But this is really good. <laughs> All right. This is good. I was chewing forever. These peppers. Y'all need to do something about these peppers. That is my only critique. The food is bomb.com. But these peppers is a little too large. A little too large. They take up a lot of space in my mouth. So I'll, I'll say the only critique is the peppers with both dishes. They too large, too large. They, not, they need to get sliced up a little bit more. Peace loving like guys, what's going on? So this is just a recap of the video. Okay, so the fries, the wrap was absolutely amazing, okay? It's a ghost kitchen. It's popping up nationwide, vegan versus fries. I seen the ad on Facebook first. So then I checked them out and I was like, oh, I can't just pull up on them, you know what I'm saying? Like I gotta go through hoops and loops to try out this vegan place. So even with that okay that was a lot right so i was able to get doordash okay um and because i don't really use those services often i was like look let me take advantage of this doordash i had about a 50 dollars credit on doordash so i was like look i'm going to order the top two meals which was the asada fries and then the kali uh crunch wrap now the kali crunch wrap is like it looked like a a flat burrito but it got like a hard shell in the middle like how taco bell used to make it so like i'm a, a big mexican fan okay just because i'm vegan they don't mean that that change it's just that i can't eat like cheese and heavy creams that they use so the fact that i found this little spot i was like <laughs> let me get it now i was hyped because i found it like about two months ago maybe two three months ago so i was like all right so i finally decided to be a fat kid and order the meals okay because i don't even eat like this on the regular y'all i'm trying to tell you like so this was like a special occasion type of energy all right so i ordered it off of doordash now sometimes you can find different clothes and stuff off of doordash i think i had like a ten dollar off for a first order right and free shipping so my meal came to like about 46 dollars with the taxes and then you have to give them a tip. So I basically killed that $50 credit that I have. So first and foremost, it's so easy to spend a lot of money with DoorDash or with this service. So I was like, instead of me spending like $30 on just one meal, I might as well just get both and try them out and see if I like them and see if that's something that I'll do in the future, right? So I tried both meals, guys. They both were good. They both were good. I can't say one over the other because like, I am a fry girl. I love french fries, okay? You know, that is my guilty pleasure. That's my sinny sin sin. But the fact that they had them loaded fries like that was, woo, I'm trying to tell you. It was so good. Um, they have curly fries options too, but I just got the straight fries. But if you want the curly fries, they have that option as well. And then the Kali Crunch, it definitely gave me nostalgia moments from Taco Bell. Like, it was really good. Like, the Kali Crunch, I believe, is the number one offender. Um, but with the Kali Crunch, I really feel as though that, like, it is so, so good, y'all. Excuse me for multitasking. I feel like the Kali Crunch is so good, okay? Um, they both are must tries. I feel like sometimes with French fries, you could dibble and dabble and do your own recipe. Kali Crunch might be a little harder to create. So, if you were trying to decide which one to get, Go get the Kali Crunch, okay? I mean, I think it was like 
$19. It was like $18.95. And I think the fries was like $17 like $16.95 so they are kind of priced okay I think my meal on the receipt it said like $39 but in reality that it was really like $39 but plus all them fees and stuff with uh, DoorDash um, like I said it was really really good I have a few critiques the number one was the peppers as you can see I was just not a fan of them huge peppers like if you're going to complete a dish complete a dish like who want to eat peppers longer than the main attraction which is the fries like my peppers was huge okay and then with the wraps sometimes i could understand you making big peppers and like wraps and stuff so you can basically feel more fulfilled i feel like if you guys chopped up the peppers or at least make them like julienne cuts really skinny i feel like that would be a better option i mean i believe they might have been grilled um peppers but either way you know try to uh, slice them the best you can because though that just wasn't a good look that kind of like made me be like uh because i'm eating a lot of peppers but it's big peppers it's not that i dislike peppers it's just that they was too huge and like when i was eating the collie rat it was just all these peppers in my mouth so i was like chewing forever like i literally took out the peppers okay like i literally took most of the peppers out and left like a few long slices just a few so it wouldn't ruin the meal for me because y'all threw a lot in there but they were just huge you know what i'm saying um and then um <clears throat> the my secondary uh critique is basically to make it more user friendly for people to try your product right so i hear i i'm from philly but i know it's a ghost kitchen and it's open like through a lot of different places in the US, right? So um, I was interested, I seen the ads and I was like, great, but is it, can I pull up on them? Can I call them and order? No, so the only way you could order is through one of the eating apps. So I had, by the grace of the most high, a credit of $50 gifted to me for DoorDash. I don't use DoorDash, I don't think I ever used DoorDash. So I was like, all right, so, Something wanted me to try vegan versus fries because it was on my radar for like a couple months and I didn't have DoorDash nor did I think about even trying to get DoorDash to try it because I was like, that's too much. I ain't doing all that. So, but because somebody gifted me the credit of DoorDash, I was like, great, I'm going to try it now, right? So I'm happy I was able to get the gift to try it, but I'm saying like, if you guys had like a phone number for people to call set hours, that would probably boost your business and it would allow people to gain more more morale and want to support your brand and your business i'm just saying like if the philadelphia location is open from 1 30 to midnight right don't you think you should have at least an allotted time from 1 30 to 4 or something like that where you'll allow people to call in to place their order right because if you unfortunately if you um Excuse me unfortunately if you keep doing it like this you may have people that's interested in your product and want to just try it and that's all you want to have is a, a person that just want to try it versus building that rapport with that customer and having them come back and recommending your product and bringing more and more business to you you know but at the end of the day i would say that's my other critique because i had to download an app in order to try it even if i was to pick up the product i still had to download this app to order it to try it so i would say maybe you guys can make it a little bit more user friendly for people that want to try it instead of going through a third party and go directly to source even if it's for a certain amount of time you know what i'm saying so that's my other crit critique that it's kind of hard for you to try it if you're not already on those apps to try it okay but other than that it was a good experience um if you guys make it more user friendly i'll definitely pull up on y'all and have it periodically but i just don't like to go through the third party and have to pay more money than i have to pay for an item you know what i'm saying like um that's just me everybody's different but all in all it was a good product it was a must try if you're vegan it was very tasty it could be a little costly but that really just depends on if you really really want to try this or not um but yeah that's my take so until next time y'all peace love and light and make sure you follow for more